in early 2025 in the presence of Union Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari, Kriyatara, a mobility solutions company, launched two electric two-wheelers designed and manufactured entirely in India, which featured AI-ready vehicle control units, swappable battery systems, and a top speed of 110 km per hour with a range of 150 km on a single charge. Similarly, in a market dominated by non-Indian players, Zero Drag Technologies is building indigenous and secure avionics systems for unmanned aerial vehicles. These two budding Indian companies may be vastly different, but there is one thing that connects them. They were both incubated at IIT Delhi, India's best technical university. The fact that IIT Delhi is a part of such homegrown innovation is no accident. As its director, Professor Rangan Banerjee tells The Week in this exclusive interview, Students are taught to be excited about science and technology and are encouraged to become innovators and entrepreneurs. So the initial question is basically on the changing dynamics of the industry and the requirements which are changing dynamically. Mm -hmm. So what add-ons or what new things you have added to your existing courses or your engineering courses to make the students basically industry ready or also to make them much more prepared to the new requirements of the ever-changing economic requirements of the industry. Yeah, so, we are actually doing a full-fledged curriculum review and we are uh, revamping the all our curriculums, whether it is the B.Tech, M.Tech, M.Sc, Ph.D., all curriculums are going through a, a complete overhaul. Um, what we are um, uh, providing in the new curriculum is uh, we are trying seeing that every student, every graduate from IIT Delhi will have an exposure to AI, will have an exposure to sustainability and will also have more skill sets in terms of communication, working in teams. Uh, we are providing flexibility in the curriculum so that students have choice and uh, we are also providing much more emphasis on learning by doing and hands-on. Uh, we expect our uh, graduates to be future ready. We expect them to have uh, an, an excitement about science and technology. We expect many of them to be innovators. Uh, we have created, we have many mechanisms for uh, incubation, startups. And uh, so we would like a number of them to also become their own employers and people who will create jobs and not just look at uh, placement. The overhauling of the curriculum will be as per the industry requirements or as per the changing uh, industry You know, the, the point in all of this is we are, the, there is a process by which we are doing this. So each academic unit, we've had a central set of guidelines. And in each academic unit is having interaction with the stakeholders. The important stakeholders are the students and then the industry and the organizations who are going to be future employers. And of course, the faculty members are at the heart of it. So this is uh, the new curriculum will uh, be started in July of this year. And during this, many of the courses uh, have been re reworked. Uh, many, uh, pro a few of the master's programs are being merged and combined. Uh, some of the things are being renamed. There's a different emphasis. So this is something that uh, we think will make uh, uh, the offerings that we have for students more relevant to future needs. If you can little elaborate on what, uh, by giving one of the examples or what, uh, what has been done or what has been planned to be done in maybe some course or giving some examples. So I, I think, you, you know, I mean, in the, uh, we have, we have provisions in almost all our courses now for uh, having industry internships. Uh, we also have, uh, we have a synthesis kind of project which people will work uh, in teams. And uh, so these are a whole set of different kinds of skill sets that uh, students will get through the curriculum. Okay. Um, uh, we, uh, the, uh, we are uh, also providing uh, professional ethics and values uh, to our students. So there's a whole, whole set of, uh, you know, 
we've thought through a whole series of changes that we are planning. So, what all new add-on technical skills and all the students will be equipped as far as not only technical skills but also soft skills also. What kind of work is being so soft skills? Soft models? skills, you know, I mean, uh, add-ons. As I told you, we are uh, looking at uh, courses uh, in AI and emerging technologies. Uh, we are looking at sustainability, we are looking at communication and then working in teams. And uh, these are sort of, uh, these are embedded in the new uh, structure of the curriculum. What about the industry academy and collaboration, anything new which you have added in that? Or so, in the industry academy co collaboration, this, this is a journey that we have been going towards and uh, increasingly at IIT Delhi uh, we are engaging more strongly with industry. Uh, we have many examples of uh, projects which are done in combination with industry. Uh, we have centers of excellence funded by industry. Some of them are national, some of them are international. Let me give you an example. Today itself we will be signing an agreement with a Korean company, Hyundai. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is for batteries, advanced electrification. Uh, and this is interesting because it is a center of excellence with this Korean company and with three of the IITs. IIT Delhi is the lead and we have a hub and spoke model um, with IIT Bombay and IIT Madras and all the, the researchers in all these three institutions will work with this um, in, international company. There are many other things uh, where we have, you know, uh, our systems uh, has funded a center of excellence where we're lo looking at sustainable computing. And the TCS, we have a research and innovation park uh, where we have uh, many uh, companies uh, who are co-located at IIT Delhi and working with uh, multiple projects with the institute. Um, so then there are other projects where which are funded by government yes. and we are uh, um, uh, working together with industry. I'll give you an example. The, we created, there's a project where we develop from coal to methanol, a pilot plant. It is done with Thermax. The pilot plant is designed with IIT Delhi technology and researchers, but the pilot plant is in Thermax. And then we are looking at the next stage where we are looking at carbon capture and storage. Um, some of our colleagues in um, civil engineering have developed a new type of cement. It's called limestone calcined cement, LC3. Okay. which has 50% of the um, carbon footprint of normal cement. And this has been tried out in cement kilns in 25 countries in the world. This, the civil engineering department students have developed this? Civil engineering faculty and researchers along with students. That means and we have actually, uh, we've created a center in Africa, in uh -huh. Kenya. Oh to look at this and other technology. So we are actually, this is, this is an example of a global, global project, global project. So there are many such things in the... This was kind of a patented kind of... A well, actually what happened is the um, researchers did not want to patent it, but they wanted to make the technology available to anyone who can use it, and they were giving only this support in terms of consulting and others. So, but basically many of the, we have mechanisms where some of our technology is licensed to the company, we are working with startup companies and uh, so there are many, many different models by which we are working with uh, industry. Uh, we also have professors of practice uh, and uh, adjunct and visiting faculty members from industry. We want to do more of that. We have a few. But uh, we think that, uh, you know, industry people coming in and giving us inputs will... Something more your recent, on your recent tie-ups and collaborations with Indian institutes also and what you are planning on in the future. 
Yeah, so we have, you know, we have a campus in Sonipat, which is being given by the uh, Haryana government. We have created over there high-end characterization and fabrication facilities. Mm -hmm. um, and for a semiconductor? Uh, uh, that is actually on a whole host of things, whether it is in uh, microscopy, optics, uh, photonics, uh, in some of the bio-related. Uh, so these facilities are nationally available. Uh, we are collaborating with all the science and technology institutes in Haryana mm -hmm. so that we can help them upgrade their research and work. So that, that's one of the things that we are uh, looking at. We are going to have in uh, our Sonipat campus uh, one of the high-end uh, supercomputers uh, which is dedicated for AI and uh, this is going to be uh, in the NCR region and probably in the academic institutes one of the best compute powers and uh, this computational facility will help us it's not just for IIT Delhi it's available for the all researchers in the country it, it will help us get the edge in terms of compute for AI so well, we are uh, looking at ways in which we can collaborate more effectively with uh, Indian and international institutions.